like a yeah yeah he's like this meme this is the one all right so welcome everybody to the meeting of the bears as you know we do this meeting every single month to make sure we agree on things so let's just get started cheeseburgers yeah, yeah. hot dogs yeah, yeah. donuts yeah, yeah. Bar fighting, yeah. Bug collection, yeah. Okay, well that's it. That's uh the meeting of the beers has commenced. Uh, see y'all next month. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what it made me think of. Okay, uh, the 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 strong bees. Okay, it's got it's got a certain energy to it. Have you heard Patton Oswalt's stand-up routine about being B-word fat? No, I have not! Oh no! Blech. Bullshit! Canvassed for Al Gore. I was out there going like, look, dude, I know these guys suck, but we can't but, but. <laughs> handle another George W. Pr Bush presidency you know what else isn't new this argument that you're making that okay the that's how i can tell the difference between the amazing atheist and paul's ego the amazing atheist doesn't say his bees is strong the amazing atheist doesn't do bleh, but paul's ego does i can do it now i did it i i can do it i've learned we're learning world's about to end if trump gets elected democracy has been over every election if we don't vote democrat since god was a boy bro this is not a new <laughs> since god was a boy bro <laughs> this is not a new f edge that you're slinging i just you're slinging I, I, old hash. I don't you're like you're, old you're hash. arguing against the concept of math you're basically saying bro you've been telling me to breathe air my entire life and you serious like i and it hasn't even fixed my f debt i'm still in debt like what do you like my student loans haven't gotten paid not yet. only no no no. i'm not saying i'm still in debt i'm saying i'm in worse debt than my parents were yeah then I'm manage your I finances better look i i don't oh oh dude oh that's so that's a that's a harsh hit i know what to tell you okay <laughs> you we've gotten <laughs> oh no the laugh haven't gotten paid not yet. only no no no. i'm not saying i'm still in debt i'm saying i'm in worse debt than my parents were yeah then I'm manage your I finances better look i i don't know what to tell you okay <laughs> you we've gotten fuck. We've... <laughs> oh my god that is the most aggressive ha 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 i've ever heard oh my god some of you will know what i'm talking about hold on Oh man, I'm never gonna be able to find it. Okay, who here has watched Arby and the Chief? If you've ever watched Arby and the Chief, that old, uh, that old, old, edgy, uh, uh, Halo, Halo goofball bullshit, there's an episode where they meet uh, an MLG player and he tells a joke and one of his friends does a laugh. That is the hardest laugh I've heard since that particular bit. There you go. Holy shit. The I'm manager finance. No, no, I'm not saying I'm. Yeah, I'm still in. Saying I'm in worse debt than my parents were. Yeah, the I'm manager finance is better. Look, I I don't know what to tell you. Okay, <laughs> you we've gotten. <laughs> it's killing me. Fuck. We've gotten go around to this. Dick. Manage your fight. That's why people there are working go, three him. jobs. Wait, is this the one? Is this the episode? Hold on, I have to find it. I have to find it now. Remember, you said I was awesome. Oh. Kevin, you face hard on right. Well, that's early on. Think that can set good luck. Wait, no, this is the episode after. This is the showdown. It's the episode before this one. What's the episode before this one? This is episode. Oh, whatever. It's so good. I wish if anybody can find that moment. He tells a joke. He's like, he makes a joke about like, oh, you, do you poop in your diaper or something? And then his friend goes like, ah, like this extremely aggressive laugh that sounds exactly like this. It's in the episode before this one, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know. This is all so low quality. I can't even tell what episode it is anymore. Damn. Is this the one? 
You found it? Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's it! This is the moment! Yes! This is this is the Paul's ego laugh right here. What the hell is your problem? What's yours? You need your diaper changed? <laughs> <laughs> Danny, legendary! You are a legend! What's the problem? You need your diaper changed? Hold on, can we time it up just right? Hold on, let's see. Can we time it up? Can we can we mash these live? Let's do it live. Here we go. Hold on. What the hell is your Here we go. Uh, right. We've got no that your finances better. Look, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. Your okay. problem. What's yours? You need your diaper changed? <laughs> you got. I think I I don't know which one was which. Did I actually time it that good? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's literally the same laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's quite literally. I played both. I was playing both. Fuck. We've gotten Go around to this. Dick. Manage your fight. That's why people. Somebody better clip me doing that because I mashed those perfectly. There we go. We got three jobs. No, right? both were playing. I didn't stop the other one. I just started the Vosh clip. Um, <laughs> manage your. Finance is better. You <laughs> posh, rich, Beverly Hills, lily white, milk toast piece of shit. Okay, this moment, I saw this clip, and I have to say, right here, this is, this is what, this is, this is what fruity victory looks like, okay? Paul's ego is fucking bian over here at him. He's like, you fucking gay, lily white, milk toast. And you have Vosh over here just going, me? Lily white? Me? It's, it's true. Fr it, it is the, it is the, 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 it's concentrated fruity energy, okay? It's incredible. I'm sorry. I, I think this was a flex. The flower shirt, the nice done hair. Excellent moment. Just excellent moment. I'm sorry. <sighs> how do you how do you even how do you even open your bourgeois mouth to talk to workers? How do you even bring yourself to do it? <laughs> well, considering the fact that basically bring how do you bring yourself to do that? But basically bravery. Basically, all unions in America, except for the police unions, advocate voting for Biden over Trump. It's actually pretty easy for me to talk to workers. They agree with me. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm, you, I'm the one you that's making a, equivocation you, you have a very, now. You have a very strong emotion. Mike Sanders says Vosh was punching down with that comment. Look, I, I, I'm sorry. I can't take that as much of a punching down. A Deep Fat Fried is a perfectly successful podcast. May, it, it's probably true that Vosh is probably, like, at this point, more successful financially than Deep Fat... Right, but this is not a very strong punching down. They've all been going at each other. Paul's ego has basically done everything but call him a faggot multiple times in this conversation. Paul's ego has gone off and called him a lily, a lily white, soft skinned, uh, 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 namby. He called him namby pamby at one point. Like, come on, you can't really. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't really police Vosh for getting that that little slap back there. It, I mean, it was definitely a little mean, and I also think that it kind of, um, it's not like a good argument, but it's a perfectly fine quip. I think it's a perfectly fine quip. Anyway, let's go. ...attachment to being, like, contrarian on this specific subject. It's not something of which I can cure you. I'm not a, a magician or a wizard. Um, I don't know. It, look, I uh, the, the, the best case scenario, the best outcome here possible is that this just ends up being another like tepid, meaningless, whatever. You can continue complaining after Biden we'll wins. Wait, did we get it? Did we get it? We can review it in real time. We got the clip. We got the clip. Let's watch it. Look, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. To tell you, okay. 
your problem. What's yours? You need your diaper changed? <laughs> <laughs> you <We> got... <laughs> you... <laughs> Which one was it? I... I really did line that up perfectly. <laughs> it literally merged. Perfect sync. Wow. We created the power laugh. Okay. I need this clip. Can you drop this clip in the group chat? Because we will put that laugh. That laugh is going on the, uh, that laugh is, is definitely a contender for the soundboard. That is definitely a contender for the soundboard. It is such an aggressive laugh. Okay, I know we've been teasing Paul's ego a bit here, but I gotta say, credit for that being one of the funniest for, like, like, aggressive laughs I've ever heard. The aggressive laugh power is definitely a magical power. I just wish it was used for more good. Let's continue. Better. I don't want. Yourself, I don't dude. want to be. I don't want to be proven <laughs> right on this. What a okay? total f dick, dude. I, in the in the in the in the, the, the <laughs> manage the your finance. Yeah, why don't you go? Why don't you go talk to the f exploding homeless population in here the in grand California? Oh, dude, march, march of history. You, you, you realize right, you're really you're mad. basically Patrick Bateman when he bent over to talk to that f homeless guy. You should get a job, Hal. Why? What are you gonna? Pull the knife out and slit me in my dog's throat, you <laughs> total corporate zombie. Okay. You should so manage like... your corporate zombie? Uh, oh boy. Lost it. Finance is better. So... Go and your rich ass self. So as as, not... as is being increasingly evidenced, I think you have a very strong emotional attachment to this particular subject. Yes, Look, I do, because I, I was raised in a labor leftist household where we didn't namby pamby around and pussyfoot around in politics and make doomerous bullshit didn't you just say judgment. your parents voted blue consistently they did yeah they then, have, then there but, we go that's your pussy politics what do you want oh I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm from a labor left household and in my labor leftist household we wouldn't let little namby pamby bussy having bitches like you have the run of the mill we would have Fucking labor leftist, your bussy up a fucking brie. Yeah, yeah. My my parents also hit the line. Nice, good. Yeah, nice. I, I don't, no, I don't nice. understand. If you think that I'm offended by the concept of your parents being harder workers than you, I'm not. I I think it's cool. You know, people used to work pretty hard for their livings. Nowadays, they still do. My but parents are ways. harder workers than me now. What do you know about my work history, Vosh? <laughs> about you as much as you've yelled you at me during the course of this conversation. Me and Tina, that was a famous scammer, so we don't know shit about work. Sorry, guys. Yeah, but I mean, like, you, yeah, you can talk to them about that. But if you're going to talk to me about my chops as a laborer, I've been employed since I was 16 years old. Uh, you know which um, party tends to aggressively push for lower uh, minimum working laws at a state level? Which party? Uh, Go ahead and tell me. It's the uh, Republicans. They they tend to be the ones it? to push for that. Is it? Yeah. Well, thankfully, we got the Democrats to push back. Oops. Child labor is back. Wait, I don't know why you're saying oops. The child labor stuff is largely happening under Republicans. Happened under Donald Trump and under Republican red states. Oh, man. It's just really sad. It's really unfortunate because Paul's ego, he was... Okay, Paul's ego was mad at the beginning of the conversation, but he's gotten so mad that he's actually just bungling basic argument points for no reason, and now he just literally sounds like an angry uh, South Park fan. It's unfortunate. It's when Dems are in charge of their state houses, that doesn't tend to happen. Look, I don't know a lot about Paul's ego. This is basically the only content of Paul's ego, personally, that I've engaged in. Um, I hope he's not usually like this. Um, but, and I like to think that he probably just got mad in this conversation. I don't want to judge him completely, but right here, this part of the conversation has been a very poor showing from him. Um, he didn't, he wasn't winning on the arguments. And so he just started getting mad. And then Vosh is just quicker than him when it comes to insults. And Paul's ego's response has basically been to go off on completely disconnected rants and basically say that you're namby pamby. It's not... It's not been very good. Like, wait, what? Wait, what? You, yeah. 
there is a difference between the parties. I don't like you. You tend to assume there isn't on a state level. The, the, never mind. Look, like it's like with I keep forgetting if it's Michigan or Wisconsin or Montana because my brain is small. But there was recently in the Midwest a state that just barely managed to eke out a Democrat majority, and as a consequence, they've done communism over there. Michigan, sorry, it's chat saying it's Michigan, and then now also chat saying it's Minnesota. It's Minnesota actually. They, they're they're doing like okay. communism over there. They have like a one person lead in in the state house, and they um, and they've been doing a bunch of ins Minnesota insanely good shit. Like I I. I think that the difference between Democrats and Republicans tends to be more pronounced on the local level because on on a on a local level it's it's easier to win without being a big corporate stooge whereas you need to be one if you're going to win presidency there's there's just too, there are too many connections to pull into there so I think that on a local level the difference is more pronounced because like there are local Republicans that are saying insane shit um with basically no pushback and local Democrats that are doing really cool stuff. So I don't know, you, you can see stuff like that. And I feel a lot of hope when I see it personally, because a lot of those Democrats who are running in like Minnesota or whatever, those are like really left leaning people. They're just running with the Dems because they have the, the name recognition, you know, but they are like pushing. I've, it. I've always, I've, I know this is something that you don't know, you know, and I don't hold you to that. Scenario. I've always advocated for people to vote down ticket and shit. Like I've always said, that, like that, your yeah, your, lo your local what? elections, great. Yeah, go down and vote in your local elections. Evolve yourself civically to the, uh, you know, I, I've never advocated against that. Okay. Well, then we should have a Democratic president <clears throat> because Thank Trump you, has Danny. openly threatened to attack Democrat state governments to prevent them from being able to get done what they need to get done, both with laws at a federal level that would restrict the ability for states to uh, uh, sort of engage in their own jurisdiction, or by outright, like, for instance, Trump threatened to withhold um, COVID aid money to a, uh, a blue state. I forget which one, though, because their governor had been making, um, like, some tr Trump critical statements. So wouldn't it be a good idea, then, to have a president who's not acting antagonistic towards those down ticket results um can actively... i ask a question i want to ask a question well, hold on yeah because he, he says i never engage okay go ahead. uh like that engage. being a more localized election i don't necessarily disagree with you know what you've said they would be better off my 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 argumentation is not against voting in your local elections but like getting my, 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 to... my, my, my but i think that you're downplaying or maybe uh, just neglecting to mention the absolute magnification power that federal politics has over state. True, which is why we should have better presidents, I imagine. Absolutely. Well, well we don't disagree on that. I don't think Biden's it. Well, um, it's Biden. I just want to ask, um, you know, we're, we talk a lot in here about uh, the preservation of, of democracy. Right. And um, I'm kind of curious why that's even being tossed out as a value when apparently there's only one party that you can vote for, <laughs> like functionally. I mean, according to you, Vosh, you can only functionally vote for Democrats or democracy is destroyed. So doesn't that mean democracy is kind of already destroyed because there's only one party well, you can vote for? There's a strong possibility it could be. You didn't say I mean, like a certain. All right. We, we do have like, very institutionally cemented parties, but there is a very strong correlation for the most part between what people want and what actually happens in our government. Now, that's not a perfect relationship. Obviously, for one, like a I mean, majority I've read of people studies that want... say the opposite, that we're functionally an oligarchy and that it basically takes familiar with the study you're the referring population, to. You know, you've heard the study, I'm yes, sure. Yes, uh, there, are, there are critiques of its methodology, but still, if you want to make okay. that comparison to how, say, like China's relative like aspect ratio functions on that, it, sure. it's, it's not perfect. And a good example Better of than a China, right? Good for us. <laughs> well they're not a democracy but a sure, good yeah a good example of like a problem with this of course I mean, is neither are we really but is manufactured consent where even if people want something uh they can be told to want something by being lied to or being sort of selectively given information and as a consequence of that like the democracy there is is sort of a sham now the problem with that in america is that by all measures we're actually like a pretty democratic country we're not perfect there are countries that do it better like the scandinavian countries but by most standards that look at this both in liberal and leftist sources there is a pretty strong relationship between like voter will and what's going on and that's not completely captured and in this environment we have rights we have a right to a freedom of speech more freedom of speech rights than almost any other country in the world which we should absolutely not take for granted we i i i think that um this this point is is not without critique however it is telling 
that here in the United States, while uh, European countries are en masse passing laws, anti-free speech laws against um, saying things like free Palestine or saying things like from the river to the sea, those are being like blanket banned in some areas of Europe. Uh, the U.S. is not doing that. Um, and many people will point out, yeah, but that's not stopping workplaces from censoring people. But that's also happening at in your Euro in European countries like Germany and France, while they're also passing laws that restrict that. So he actually kind of does have a small point here, at least when it comes to free speech. Um, I don't. Uh, I think that his point on democracy could use some critique, uh, or could use some depth, and is not does not hold up. Um, without like boiling down the meaning of democracy, um, because I don't. I don't think that. I think that democratic representation is highly questionable in certain aspects of the United States. But I overall agree with his point of political rights i'm not saying it's a perfect or I mean, there's like, a whole lot of issues where it seems like we're described as a flawed democracy done. if you look at democracy that's what we're called we're called a yeah, flawed democracy. and we are a flawed democracy and if you compare that to like the total list of countries in the world or like the total population of the world like include india china indonesia like there's a lot to be thankful for here now again is it enough no we should fight for better but what we are is a lot better than again like turkmenistan or, or sudan or, or saudi arabia oh yeah sudan's a horrible country well, it's, you know, I, I personally would not want to live there. You can call that my my a white Western bourgeois preference, but, uh, you know, it seems kind of dicey there. Yeah, I don't think I don't think many people are going to actually want to live in South Sudan. I, yeah, anybody who would get uh, upset at you for that should go do the do it themselves. Yeah, let's go <laughs> do it. Tell me how it works out for you. Yeah, I, I again, like, it's very worth preserving here. The, the the difference here is is very meaningful. Like, for instance, a good example of this would be that um, uh, 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 General Attorney oh. Barr, under Trump's administration, under with the Black Lives Matter protests, was pushing around the idea of using the Insurrection Act to arrest uh, people at protests that turned violent. Now, this would be probably one of the most authoritarian things to have ever happened in this country. Like, this would be up there with anything Nixon did, possibly quite a bit worse. It was, like, very, uh, very, very bad. I um, mean, in, uh, in the Japanese internment camp's bad? Yeah, no, it'd be in that ballpark, yeah. We're talking okay. about the mass arrest of, of at the very least, hundreds of thousands of people, uh, overflowing detention centers, prison cells. Like, Good night, it, like, Wendell B. Have that. Me. Good night, Wendell B. Thanks for coming. We're almost, we're almost done here. We're going to do this. I'm going to give my final thoughts, and then I'm going to play a couple memes, and then I'm going to wish you all thanks, uh, Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. We're going to finish this out first. Okay, and then... Very quickly, a bunch more for political reasons, as opposed to sure. like the right. Yeah. So that was something that the last Trump administration was very close to doing, like very, very considering. That's just one thing from the destruction of the administrative state to Trump, um, uh, uh, like openly threatening to sue journalists or like bring charges against. If someone donates five hundred dollars to me, I will turn off the stream right now, even if it makes for a sudden end of the video. There's that them for reporting accurately on what his administration is doing well, to... I mean, that's the goal of the incarceration uh uh industrial complex okay. which biden is super f cozy uh, with. Do you, you 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 really can't identify that trump's administration is openly flaunting their willingness to do the worst version of broad trends that have been problems in this country you you seem to be under the impression that there is a comparison between outright i didn't get to it yet vox syndicate um if you remind me next stream i'll try to get to it but i gotta be honest i gotta get through this and i'm getting real tired fascism and the fascistic tendencies of a i do want to check it out though to our state there is a line there and that line is a bullet train called the trump administration the thing that brings you from bad tendency in a democracy to a fascist government is in this case the fascist strongman that's what we have to be careful about yes we have problems with our prison system right now yes joe biden authored the crime bill he's hardly bloodless here but what he did not advocate for was the mass political Thank arrest you, on tired. insurrection it's charges no less. not disorderly conduct but not rioting, not disruption of, uh, of, of a public space, insurrection. Hundreds of thousands of people, potentially millions, depending on, I mean, they could have gotten millions if they wanted. Well, that's this, what Trump's trying to sell to his supporters now with his trials, that it's a political prosecution. Basically. Yeah, and, and, and as a product of that, the majority of Republican voters don't believe in democracy anymore. They believe that the deep state is always out to get Trump, and no matter what happens, he's always the one who would have legitimately won. 
And this is like a, an, an anti-democracy uh, through line that has to be crushed. It has to be broken and snapped and ground into dust. Well, uh, the country so, can't survive this. I think that in a lot of ways, and we can disagree on this, your uh, kind of stated objectives here and your strategies going forward are what's responsible for us having so little... Oh, that's such bullshit. That's so bullshit. ...choice when it comes to our two parties. Like, as you guys have seen, I've criticized a lot of things that Vosh has said this time, but this is such a bullshit argument. The idea that people like Vosh, Vosh, okay, the idea that people like Vosh or people like Deep Fat Fried are the ones who are responsible for this, for the state that America's in, and not the like law, the like long line of, of, of corporate ghouls constantly doing everything in their power to influence politics to ensure that this country continues to be the worst place possible uh, is just ridiculous. Bosch is just arguing that it's better to vote for somebody who will be slightly more favorable given the circumstances in America, given that other options really are not mathematically viable and they aren't. If you have, again, I'll state it again, I've said it a hundred times in this conversation, if you have concerns, if you feel like you're tired of being forcibly fed a, 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 a shit sandwich, if you are tired of being jammed into the political milking machine that, get, that chafes and gives you sores on your udders, then your answer lies beyond electoralism. Not in just, not in like pathetically with, withholding your vote, not in voting harder for Joe Biden, but in thinking outside of the system. Bezadu with the 10 tier one subs. Oh my goodness. Your transformative review of this debate is as good as always. Not nearly $400 and not towards an end of a stream, just an appreciation of your work. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you so much. T. Smith says it is absolutely Vosh's fault. This is the one. I I cannot divorce. I forgot where that one was on my soundboard. Your because, like I said before, a little angrier. Your uh, your strategies are nothing new. This is not new or revolutionary thinking. You accused me of not being the revolutionary thinker, but I think that means you think that you are. And voting for Biden is your strategy. I don't. Think and this not is not new. The, the That's not his strategy. Vosh, Vosh, Vosh. To Vosh's credit, he spends his entire stream talking about politics. His strategy is obviously not ending. At uh, at vote for Biden. Come on, uh, the, not the, fair. the less the lesser of two evils <clears throat> argument has uh, been made over and over and over. Again. I'm, I'm engaged. This is the radical politics of don't shoot yourself in the head to avoid another problem. Uh, I I think that a Trump presidency is a bullet to the head. I th I think that I think that threatening anything which increases the likelihood of that to solve any other issue is as sensible as threatening a bullet to the brain to solve any other issue. There's a chain of events here that happened that led exactly to this. I, I went, exactly, Chariot. It's, oh, went back and I rewatched our first conversation together, and one of the things that stuck out to me was I laid out for you in that first conversation. Uh, I said, here's what I'm concerned with, Vosh. We vote Biden. We basically get a holdover of Trump era policy. Maybe a little sprinkle of good here and there, but mostly just a pause on Trump era policy. And then we get Trump again. And you scoffed super hard at me for that. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I, you, I, I you said, said I Trump remember. Done. I, you no, said, I did. I would never have said that Trump is just flat out done. Um, I might have said that there's a high likelihood he wouldn't be as powerful the next time around. I still believe that. Also, four years of not shooting yourself in the head, that's great. I, I think you should continue not to if, do not that. Not if you're a migrant. You, you know, think the, migrants should shoot yourself themselves in the head? What? <laughs> okay, that, that joke didn't even make me laugh, but TJ laughing made me laugh. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, okay. Uh, one thing I can say without question that I always appreciate about TJ is that TJ has a great laugh, okay? TJ does have a fantastic laugh, okay? There you go. There's my really nice compliment of the night. You, you know, think that... migrants should shoot yourself themselves in the head? <laughs> what? No. No, why? No, why, why, no it's, 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 not. it's shooting. I just meant that the comparison doesn't hold water. I'm lying. It's so good. So good. If you're a migrant, sure, I don't think sure it does. Uh, Trump was, was as bad or worse than Biden on this. I mean, the Paul's ego laugh is an aggressive laugh. That's not a. That's not the same thing. This is just a genuine. That's genuine mirth. There's there's mirth there. There we go. Simple. Um, Trump, Trump. They're they're actually fundamentally the same on this. They're not. Um, the end. Trump the policy, policy to separate children re from re families. Re-implemented. Re I can't remember the the. Re um, I can understand people saying that Biden hasn't done a very good job of uh, reversing um, Trump's immigration policies, um, but it's not true that they're exactly the same. It's just not true. Trump was aggressively, adv constantly advancing not just negative rhetoric, but he used um, he used border patrol like a personal army. Um, uh, he, he, it was ridiculous. He used, he used immigration and border patrol like a personal army. And he was constantly in the, in the news media, dehumanizing, uh, uh, dehumanizing migrants, uh, and illegal immigrants. Um, it was ridiculous. Um, uh, and, and Joe Biden just hasn't done that. Some of the policies he's maintained, but his, uh, his aggression towards, uh, uh, towards, um, undocumented people has not even been close to the same. It, they're just not the same. I'm sorry. It, it's not. Uh, Joe Biden has not done a good enough job de uh, de delineating himself from Biden, uh, or Biden has not done a good enough job delineating himself from Trump, uh, in my opinion. But uh, So I think there's plenty to criticize him on, but they're not the same. Donald Trump was literally his, like half of his platform was basically mocking people suffering at the border while ordering his completely loyal border enforcement agency uh, to, to just be as cruel as possible. Like, are we forgetting all, like, are we forgetting the conditions in the border camps? Maine and Mexico policy was re-implemented. Yeah, family separation wasn't there. My Cherry says, eight hour long Demon Mama stream? God damn, you're crazy. It's true, I am. Minor difference, big improvement. There are still there are still hundreds and hundreds of families separated. Right, but Biden created a task force to reunite them, and has for the vast majority. He's not magic. He can't like snap his fingers and reunite. He's not choosing to not reunite. Oh, here's the sound effect. Oh, it didn't play. Hold on, I'm gonna. No, damn it! Hold on a second. I wanted to download the sound effect. I wanted to download the sound effect. Here we go. Here we go. Paul's ego. All right, let's see if I can get it to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it aligned. I can't, I literally, oh my God, I can't tell. Was it just, oh my God, I gotta add this on here. Hold on a second. Here, I've gotta add this in. We've gotta have it. Hey, 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 don't do that. Let me add one. Here we go. Upload. Here we go. Here we go. And now we got to add the keybind. Hold on a second. What do you mean? No, what wait, that mean? one I already have. Okay. What about this one? Go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We got it. Night the missing families. That's on Trump. Um, again, like, it's always like, oh, well, they're bad for this, they're bad for this. I know, there are always things to improve. But, I just, like, you well, don't seem to... You don't seem to compromise here. You don't seem to understand... Like well, no, 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 you're, you're, you're advocating... Oh, no! Like, I'm breaking it! Hold on, I need to move it to a different button, because I accidentally put it on the... <laughs> I need to clear the key mine. how do I clear that? Here we go. There we go, okay, that's better, right? Hold on. <laughs> no! Hold on. Why is this one go to... Oh, no. There we go. Hold on. That's better. Okay, much better. Now I know where it is. Okay. Alright, now I know where it is and it'll work every time. <laughs> Perfect.
right now, no matter how much you pretend I, I'm otherwise, for, I'm personally think they should get better. I, I'm, I'm in no favor of No matter how better. much you yeah. close your eyes and put your fingers in your ears and go na 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 na, the fact <laughs> of the matter is, no one. There is not going to be Wait, some magical. There is not. Is it better? Is it better yet? It got better for a second. Aren't you older than yet? You wouldn't know. Yeah, Jesus. Like God. Um. Jesus throwing throwing your baby internet. toys out of the pram to fix politics. Look, um, I, I you don't seem to a understand pram. that the consequence of your of your policy of your of your idea here is just I don't set policy, there would I'm be fewer. I know, I know, you don't commit to anything because that would require a spine. Um, but <laughs> I'm if you, pretty sure if I have you, committed to several if things. If you don't, know. the only thing you've committed to is a lack of understanding of the difference between with. Republicans and Democrats. You're okay, to be fair, I do think that, I think Vosh thought he was responding to Paul there and didn't realize he was responding to TJ. Commitment here important. is to ignorance. Uh, in, in this specific scenario, right now, things are more heated. Yeah, can we shout out Scotty? Scotty was on fire this debate. Than they have been in the past, but the underlying tendency remains the same. You vote for the best possible candidate. If you want to change things, you have to change the systems. Changing systems is hard and takes time. The best way to do that is to leech existing power and institutions and soapboxes. We do that through the Dems. We see good outcomes. We have seen good outcomes. The math is on my side. The science on my side. History on my side. On your side, a childish indignation and unwillingness to participate and a flagrant disregard for the threat fascists pose to this country. Not, very I've leftist of you. So. Very leftist of you. And yeah, neither one of us is advocating that. Here's the here's that old cra cra crazy straw man again. Yeah, yeah you might want to we, wait till we're we, not we'll, on here. We'll before let the historian yeah, decide. Yeah, 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 this is this is definitely shit that I would reserve for the shit talk post show where where we're not here to like call you on it <laughs> over and over. Like that's not what we and said. And by the and by the way, I would like to add to further the discussion. You're just a big old baby Vosh and I I have I find it hard to explain to your monosyllabic child's mind mm -hmm. the very idea of resisting your oppressors when the world is burning I find it impossible to elucidate to your tiny little toddler of a mind <laughs> what the, the broad <laughs> scope and the based revolutionary nature of my position, Bosch. I appreciate how I didn't talk over how's you. That, how's that, that, how's that, that how you feel, bitch? How do you like that? I'm not a child. There's no children present. Okay, thank goodness. Why would, There's no f children present Why here. would you call me monosyllabic but then make fun of me for using uh, vocab words? Shouldn't you have said polysyllabic? Monosyllabic is, is the, the word that I used. And it means that you only use one syllable because you dumb. That's is, what it means. Is that what? What I'm known for? But then you said Amelia. All right, whatever. Yeah, um, I'm also, whatever, I'm also whatever, not known for whatever. I'm also not known for being you want to go a, for. A, a, um, I'm also not known for being a, a f uninformed child, despite what some of the people in your f chat and community might. Eric. Well, you sure can really otherwise tonight. Uh, look, I don't oh. know. I just, I just okay. don't want. I don't want fascism to win. This is for this. I am castigated. I am like Christ on the cross. They, they, they nail me to the cross because I believe that the fascists should not win the presidential election. Uh, on my in my corner, agreeing with me is everyone who does advocacy work for everything meaningful that gives us joy and light in our lives. And on your side, I guess there's I don't know habitual pot smokers. I feel like we've made. The arguments. I feel like we've made our cases. Dude, don't do pot smokers. Don't do, don't do pot, don't do pot smokers dirty. Okay, listen. There's a lot of pot smokers who who have your position. Okay, there's a lot of them. All right, a lot of pot smokers uh, are are totally are totally ready uh, to vote blue no matter who. Okay. We can leave it to time, history, and especially if you convince them that blue is actually green. In my case, uh, the unerring laws of mathematics to determine who is correct. Got it. All right. <laughs> Polymath says Vosh has said some pretty stupid shit about pot lately. No. Okay. Listen. I listen. I'm gonna say this here. I do think that Vosh sometimes gets a little touchy uh, when he talks about weed, but I don't think he's really said anything very dumb uh, or out of line. Basically, what Vosh said is that some people uh, are not realistic about their relationship with weed, which I think is true. I think there are people who are comp who are not realistic about their relationship with weed. Um, and I think you should be realistic with your relationship about weed. 
Um, uh, I don't think that it's comparable to alcoholism. I don't think that it's um, comparable to uh, heroin addiction or crack addiction or meth addiction. Uh, I don't think that... Uh, uh, I don't think that, I think sometimes per perhaps uh, he's a little bit, uh, a, a little bit, a little bit lacking in fair introspection about other very common drugs that people consume that are of similar levels of strength and power, but I don't really think he said anything super wrong about it. He, he just gets a little inflammatory with his chat because uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, People who are annoying about weed in his chat. Uh, there's a lot of people who he he is he's not wrong in saying that um, there's a lot of people who are super defensive about it and don't have a realistic uh, relationship or like don't have a realistic like. Re view of their relationship with weed. <laughs> oh, and also, yes, it's completely true that Vosh has a very combative relationship with this chat, especially recently. Vosh's chat has been really aggressive this year, I've noticed. Yeah, all right, fair enough, yeah. Uh, well, you know what, one more thing before you leave, Vosh. One quick thing, it won't turn into a big thing. I just wanted to say from my heart, <laughs> good day, sir. Thanks for having me on, Lance. I hope you do well. Thanks, man. Appreciate it coming on. Take care. Appreciate you. Have a good day. Well, that happened. <laughs> All right. So what are my thoughts on that? Um, that was a giant looping uh, fest in which uh, people refuse to engage with the simple fact that there is no real mathematical path to a third party in America. Um, a lot of the reason why these conversations get so goddamn annoying um, is because uh, people uh, are don't realize that uh, electoralism is a dead end. That if you fall for electoralism, you will be damned forever. That if electoralism makes up your politics, uh, unless you are already a rich person, or unless you are willing to gamble your entire life on a moonshot that you somehow become influential enough to become an actual politician and then devote yourself to a political machine that is designed to weaken you unless you go along with the corporate interests, um, uh, unless, unless that is all stuff that applies to you, electoralism will not be your path to any sort of political liberation. Um, it is a good thing to vote for the candidate. Uh, if you have the ability to vote, if you are a enfranchised person, if you have the vote. It is a good thing to cast votes that make the playing field better, uh, better for you and your political interests. You should do that. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort to vote. If you have if you have the ability to vote, you should do it. It will help you, but it should not be the center of your politics. You should spend a little bit of time getting informed on the people who are running near you, um, and you should spend more time uh, getting educated on local issues to your area where your vote is most important, and then you should cast your vote and be done with it. And the rest of your time should be devoted to thinking about how you can actually impact the world, especially if you are pol a politically... Uh, interested person who does not want to spend your entire life having fucking, uh, sorry, getting strapped into the Democratic or Republican milking machine. If you don't want to have uh, uh, an open weeping sores on your udders from being milked until you look like the SpongeBob chocolate grandma worm, then you should uh, very seriously consider broadening your political viewpoint to anything beyond electoralism. Electoralism is a death trap. It is a hamster wheel designed to convince you to spend all of your time obsessing neurotically over polls that do not matter, to spend all of your time listening to um, talking heads that are way less fun than me and Vosh, uh, instead listening to like extremely boring uh, uh, policy wonks who don't actually teach you anything, and then to spend your entire life feeding the democratic machine so that they can continue to d deliver disappointing politics that you have no real impact on. Um, s s abstaining your vote is uh, less useful than casting your vote in a direction that's helpful to you, but it is almost as close. Abstaining from the vote is throwing a hissy fit and it's not very helpful. If you really wanna abstain from the vote, 
no one can stop you from doing that. It's literally your right if you want to abstain, but no one gives a shit. Literally, uh, especially uh, uh, the people in power don't give a shit. Uh, Joe Biden does not give a shit if four people on a stream don't vote in the direction that he wants. He simply doesn't. You know what Joe Biden does care about? Political structures that he can't control. Do you want to know uh, what Joe Biden can't do anything about? Political constructors, political structures that he can't control. You want to know what shook the world? The fucking Black Panther Party. You guys want to talk about an organization that fucking shook the world? Well, the Black Panther Party was not a, uh, the Black Panthers were not a, um, a, a electoral party. What they did was served breakfasts to people and educated them on politics. They organized people to radical action. And guess what? They shook the world. That's the type of structure that does things. Feeding people does things. Providing people, uh, providing for people's needs does things. Building structures that allow people to get medical care that they need does things. Educating people does things. Empowering people, building connections, building strong communication networks, building ways to help one another in emergency situations will change the world, okay? And those are the things that, polit that, that lets you grapple in politics in a real way. Um, in this conversation, I think Paul's ego was being remarkably stubborn and, uh, kind of a goofball. I think TJ was digging in his heels and wasn't being, um, uh, wasn't committing completely to an analysis of the difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And I think he should rethink that position. It seems like he has, and that he's just interested in sort of engaging in a debate with Vosh. Um, I would love to talk to TJ. As you guys know, I really like TJ, even if I don't always agree with him. I'd be totally open in the future to talking to Deep Fat Fried, even though I, I suspect that I will have disagreements with Paul's ego. Uh, I overall agreed with Vosh, though I do think that Vosh sometimes goes a little too far in overstating the case in favor of Joe Biden. Regardless, I still agreed with him a lot. And of course, we were very lucky to receive this wonderful clip. <laughs> So there we go. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this incredible debate review, make sure that you press subscribe down below. Leave me your comments if you think that I'm wrong, if you think I've missed something, if you think there's a, 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 a voting argument that I've never heard, heard, tell me in the comments below because I would love to hear from you. As my fans can tell you, I'm very good about responding to comments. I'm always in my comments. So if you want to uh, have your words reach me, put them there.